sheer inspiration. Well, uh, let's go back now to our top story. As we heard earlier, Wolves are tonight looking for a new manager after sacking Mick McCarthy. Well, Dan Pallett is live at Molyneux now. Who are the front runners to get the job, do you reckon, Dan? Well, Nick, I think a lot of it is circumstance. As we said earlier, there's two weeks without a game for Wolves, so they've got time to act and get a manager. But no longer than that, so they can't really mess around with managers, I think, that are already attached to other clubs. So I think on the shortlist, Bookie's favourite, Alan Kirbishley, former Charlton West Ham manager, Steve Bruce, former Birmingham City and Sutherland manager, among the front runners. People they can get to instantly. Neil Warnock would be another example. Of course, he was with Queen's Park Rangers earlier this season. Well, um, earlier this afternoon, I went along and, and spoke to a few fans outside Molyneux, asked them who they think should be the next boss. Hopefully uh, bringing Kirbishley and uh, upwards and onwards, fingers crossed. I'd probably say Steve Bruce. I actually think Kirbishley should come in. I mean, he's got a great record, he speaks for himself, but people are saying Warnock, Kirbishley, so hopefully someone will come in and pick them all up really soon. Hopefully it's not too little too late. Who else is up? Capello? Is he going to come here? <laughs> Well, I suppose uh, it's a good to have a sense of humour at these times, but if Wolves get relegated, the jokes will wear thin. It's going to be an interesting few days here at Molyneux to see how quickly they act and who they bring in. My guess is they won't take long. They need to get a new man in to get up and running and see if they can get out of this hole in the bottom three of the Premier League. Certainly a lot of, lot of names out there, Dan. Thanks very much. Yeah, Capello. <laughs> Great. And uh, you can see today's full interview with the Wolves Chief Executive Jez Moxie on our Facebook page. Yes, and the debate about who should succeed Mick McCarthy will continue on BBC WM's breakfast show tomorrow morning. Well, Mick McCarthy's departure shouldn't take the gloss of a fine performance by West Bromwich Albion. It was a match that uh, Peter Odenwingi won't forget. The Nigeria international continued his excellent goal-scoring record against Wolves. It was his first hat-trick in the Premier League, and their 5-1 victory was Albion's biggest win over Wolves since 1964. Well, I couldn't believe it, you know. Uh, I've been looking forward to a hat-trick in the Premier League. It's very difficult to get that. And, uh, of course, uh, the bonus I get is that this uh, hat-trick will be uh, in the minds of our supporters for, for a long time. So it's double joy.